guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Jackson at two years old. He is two today, so I thought I would talk about his progress and what he's been up to because I have documented his whole life, all of his updates since I was pregnant. And then I used to do updates when he was a newborn and month by month. So if you have a different aged baby, I will also link all of his previous updates in the description down below. And if you have followed along all that time with Jackson, I just want to say a massive thank you. I feel like so many of you guys know him really well. I had some lovely heartfelt messages on Instagram and email as well just saying how people feel like they're like an aunt to him because they just know him so well and they followed along his whole life. So yeah, so today I'm going to talk about what he's been up to at the age of two and as you can see he's not actually in the video with me because he's a two year old. He doesn't want to sit here in front of the camera so he's downstairs playing with Matt but I'm going to talk about what he's been up to and also put in loads of video and cutaways so you can see what he's looking like, what he likes to play with and stuff like that. So for his two year celebration, we had a little party in a cafe in our town. Uh, I wasn't gonna do anything major for his birthday, but then his two older brothers kept asking what party Jackson was gonna have. But it was actually really nice. We had a cake and balloons and some of our closest friends. And he was so excited when we sang happy birthday and stuff. So he had a really, really good time and he's got some lovely gifts, which I will talk about in a minute. Um, but the biggest change at the age of two is that Jackson has started nursery. So months and months and months ago, I thought when Jackson's two, I think I'll be ready for him to do a tiny bit of nursery. So I signed him up ages ago and it's come around so quickly, but he officially started this week. So before he started, he had four settling in visits where you basically just go and play. He gets to know his key worker and the people there. Um, and then yeah, he's doing two mornings a week so he can stay for three or four hours. But at the moment, just to get him used to it, we've left him for like two hours and then for three hours. But to be honest, he's really enjoying it. I have got mad to do the drop-offs because I really struggle to drop him off so I think it will be better if Matt does it for now um, and yeah he hasn't really cried Matt said he gets a bit tearful hangs onto his blanket which is his comforter but then he goes over to the girls quite easily and they say he plays really well when he's there um, he's not eating very well there but I'm sure that will come um, and he's only going for a morning so you know the two older boys went for full days because I was back at work in an office so so hopefully he's going to continue to enjoy that and learn a lot and have some fun with some friends that are his own age. Because he's got two older brothers, we just tend to hang out with them and their friends. So he hasn't really got any friends that are his age. So hopefully this will be really, really good for him and his development. In terms of sleep, Jackson is still a very good sleeper. He actually enjoys going to bed, which was a shock to me because his two older brothers just didn't sleep as well as he does. So he's still in a cot and I tend to put him to bed at about 6.30 p.m., which I know is really early, but his nap is a bit shorter now and he's so tired by then and it helps me out. If I can put him to bed at 6.30, then I can put his four-year-old brother to bed at 7 p.m. So I put him to bed at 6.30 and then he will wake up at about 6.30 a.m. So he sleeps right through. I put him down sleepy but awake and he has this fluffy blanket that he needs to hold and he's still sleeps in a sleeping bag and as I said in his cot I'm not taking him out of his cot until I absolutely have to with the other boys I remember putting them into a big boy bed when they started to climb out of the cot because that could be a bit dangerous but if he's sleeping well in that cot I will literally keep him in there until he's like 18 years old <laughs> if he's not gonna hurt himself. Um, so yeah, sleep is really good. In terms of food, he's definitely getting more fussy. He was such a good eater as a baby. Um, I feel like it got a bit worse after we'd been on holiday because he didn't always like what was on the buffet. We would turn to like things like pizza, chips, sandwiches, things we knew he would eat. And I feel like it's been harder since then. He still loves fruit. He likes some veg, but he prefers veg in 
pouch form still he would rather like suck down a veggie pouch um, rather than like eat broccoli um, but he really he's really good with breakfast and lunch as well but I feel like with dinner he could take or leave it he's not that bothered his speech is really coming along as well and he can string together little sentences now so he can say things like where's daddy gone or put it in the bin he says things like that and he can take instruction so if I was to give him like an empty yogurt pot or something and say put it in the bin he will go and do that so that's really cute he seems to be growing up so so quickly <laughs> What can you see? And with that, he is starting to have a few tiny little tantrums, like nothing major. They're they're like tiny little ones, but he has like laid on the floor now a few times, um, or he'll go like this. He will just pretend to cry and do this. Um, and he's really sensitive. If I ever tell him no, because he has gone through a phase of hitting his brothers, which I don't blame him. He's probably had worse from them. Um, so now he will go up to them and just hit them for no reason. And if I say no, Jackson, he goes, like that and just really really cries so he's very sensitive he loves singing and dancing and anything physical he loves climbing going down the slide going to soft plays in that sense I think he is like a typical boisterous boy who needs to run around we also got him a little scooter for his birthday because he loves his brother's ones so we got him one that has like a toddler setting um, and so far he is doing okay on that we're trying to teach him how to use it but he's really enjoying that he also loves playing with toys like his play mags which are basically little tiles that magnet together so we build towers with that and he knocks them down we also got him this little pepper house for his birthday and he really enjoys playing with little characters there's a door on it and he just knocks on the door and keeps putting little characters in the house and that's really really cute and seems to keep him really busy he also loves playing outside and for his main birthday present we got him the most cute mud kitchen so it has three bowls on it we got like the largest size that you can get because we think that all three of the boys will probably play out there with it um, but we noticed that he loved kitchens and stuff like that whenever we were at soft plays so we thought this would be fun and it can sit outside as well so it'll get him outdoors playing with mud and dirt and sticks and stuff like that so it's really cute I will link all of the birthday presents in the description if you want to check them out he also really loves those little wooden puzzles that you get so we have one that he particularly loves which has shapes on it and he can tell you what every shape is even like hexagon pentagon oval rectangle he can say all of them and he really loves them where is the hexagon good boy you got it his obsession with shapes started when he started watching Mr. Maker and the dancing shapes in that. And one of his favorite birthday presents that we got him were these soft um, Mr. Maker shapes that I found on Amazon and they also sing. He really, really likes playing with those. So he can tell you all the shapes. He can tell you quite a few colors now as well and quite a few numbers as well. He also has a few favorite movies. He really likes the movie Sing and Coco as well. And I think he likes those because of the music that's in them. He also likes Zootropolis, and in terms of TV shows, he only really likes Peppa Pig and Ben and Holly, but he doesn't really wanna sit down and watch TV. I feel like he's too busy to do that. Those are the only things that really keep his attention for more than five or 10 minutes. Um, he's also, what else can I tell you? He's also still in pull-ups, but he has started showing a little bit of an interest in the toilet and watching his brothers go to the toilet. And he's said a few times now, we, when he's done a we. So I think he might potty train quite young because Fraser was similar to that. He he started telling me and then he started taking off his nappy when he'd had a wee. Um, so because he's kind of said that a couple of times, I've got our potty out from the garage. I've saved it for every boy. So I've just brought that out and put it uh, like in and amongst where he plays. And he has taken an interest in it. He's looked at it a few times. So I think if it's there and he starts to get comfortable with it and we just talk about the potty, then hopefully that will set him up well for potty training, which I'm sure will happen in about six 
months or so. In terms of looks, Jackson still has his dark curly hair. We have had his hair cut three times and I was worried that the curls would go, but it looks like the curls are very much here to stay, so that's cool. Um, he's also still got his big blue eyes and I know I'm his mum and I'm totally biased, but He's very handsome, obviously I would say that. Um, in terms of weight, I made him stand on my scales this morning to see how much he weighed, and he was nearly two stone, which is about 28 pounds, and I would say he's like an average build. He's not very tall, not very short. He's just pretty normal for his age, and he's in two to three year clothing. So, you know, he's sort of where he should be. Um, and yeah, just in terms of his character, he's a very good boy. He's very relaxed. I guess being the third child, he hasn't really got a choice. He kind of gets dragged here, there, and everywhere. He's also traveled quite a lot with us. Um, he's been on lots of flights, and he seems to take them in his stride and adjust to a change in his routine very well. I just wanted to say I'm just so proud to be his mummy. He's such a sweet boy, and obviously we just love him so much. And thank you to you guys for following along. I feel like this is like the end of an era. I feel like this is like my last baby update because he's like a toddler now and on that note so many of you guys have commented oh need to have a fourth baby and stuff like that but I think he is our last baby well I flip between wanting another and then sometimes thinking oh no like three is quite a lot like we went on holiday this summer and we had moments where I was like this is really full on and Fraser his eldest brother has just started the juniors and the schoolwork is getting you know like he's gonna need quite a lot of help with that um, Caleb's in reception now and they all have like a million clubs every weekend and parties and stuff and I just feel like I don't even know if I could split myself again if I had four um, so I think that this is our last baby but it makes me really sad saying that because you know I've kind of made you know made myself a mum for the past seven or eight years so it will be an adjustment for me like focusing on myself now that they're getting older. Um, but yes, I think that's it. I'm just rambling now. So I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. I feel really emotional now. <laughs> Bye. Maybe we'll get a dog or something. <laughs>